Kayla and today I'll be making triple threat salmon croquettes. They're called triple threat salmon croquettes because they're sweet, savory, and salty. And I'm going to show you how to make them. First, you'll need one can of salmon that has been deboned and drained. Next, you'll need a third of a cup of celery, half of a medium sized onion. half of a bell pepper, green to be exact, three tablespoons of parsley that's been chopped, a third of a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs, three cloves of garlic that have been minced, one egg, a third of a cup of milk, any kind, any kind will do, and um, a whole mango that's been chopped into cubes. We'll also need eh, a pinch of salt, I'll have to open it first, and some pepper. After you added your salt and pepper, we're going to add about two teaspoons each of onion powder and garlic powder. Another one into the broth powder. Whoops. Now we're ready to mix our mixture and form it into patties. Now the bag that the mixture that we just made makes more than four, but I'm just using four examples. But now we're ready to we, well, we just made them into patties, and now we're ready to bread and fry them. So it's really simple. You just put it in there and lightly coat it with flour. It's kind of messy, but it's worth it. And we're just going to put them in the pan. The pan's on medium to high heat with about a fourth, fourth of an inch of canola oil. Now my triple threat salmon croquettes are ready to flip. We're just going to gently flip them. They should be on the stove on each side for about two minutes each or until they're golden brown. They smell delicious by the way. And if you're not used to frying, then you want to be real careful because if the oil pops on you, then you'd get a really, really bad burn and that would hurt and it wouldn't be good. So, we're going to give them another two minutes and then we're going to take them out and plate them. Now, we're ready to plate them. They're so pretty. You've got the greens from the parsley and celery and yellow from the mango, and they're nice and golden, and they taste about as good as they look, and they look really good. And you just want to decorate it with some parsley on top. It also tastes really good with them. Lots of green. And now I'm going to taste one. <laughs> They're really hot, so you want to be careful. Mmm, they're delicious. I would love to be the next Rising Mango star because I'm extremely passionate about cooking. This would be a great opportunity for me to experience culinary life firsthand. And when I'm in the kitchen, I find that it's really easy to express myself. And thanks for this great opportunity because I really enjoyed myself. So I hope you pick me.